Welcome back to Daily Encouragements. And there's some big changes coming to the channel soon. We've been talking about how the channel's working and why it's working and why it's not working and some of the things that we're doing. One of the discussions we had today and over the last couple couple days is the fact that we've got too many focuses. We, we're looking at a podcast. We're looking at music for Bonnie. We're looking at some sort of vlog things as well as these daily encouragements. And we, we thought we would leverage this one channel to do multiple different things. And we thought by by having these multiple different focuses, they would would leverage each other and give a compounding effect. And you know, in some some areas, in some circumstances, that's great thinking and it works. But for this particular thing, it's, I think it's harming us. We're getting viewership for podcasts and then they have to watch a whole pile of dailies or they have to watch music or if they watch something else. And uh, if you just want to tune into a podcast once a week, then it's irritating and you, you want to click away. And if you want to see music, but you have to watch eight other videos a week, it's not working. And so often in life, we try and compound thinking it's going to work. We try and create relationships or contracts, or we try and hand out our business card, Hong Kong, I'm talking to you. And you try and network and you try and accomplish multiple different tasks all on the same platform. And you think that you'll have a compounded result, but actually you end up diluting your result. You end up not getting one thing done, you end up failing at everything. And so one of my favorite Proverbs outside of the book of Proverbs is Ecclesiastes 10.10, where it says that, well, let me get it for you, one second. So I've got it here. If the ax is dull and its edge is unsharpened, more strength is needed, but skill or wisdom will bring success. And so if you're trying to cut down the tree, and it's not sharp, it's not focused, it's not on point, where you're trying to do too many things at once, and it turns out like more like you're using a hammer than you are an ax, then you're gonna to have to use a lot of strength, a lot of effort to get the job done. But if you bring that sharpness back, and you take a moment to reflect, and to assess, and have an honest assessment, uh, and you're not trying to just pad out to make yourself feel good, or you're not trying to soften the blow, where you actually sharpen, and iron sharpens iron, Proverbs, 17 I think says uh, or Proverbs 27 and you take that time to do a proper assessment and you focus which means not to add more it means to grind down and take away and and to not dilute by compounding things but to focus by taking away things taking away substance taking away other focuses foci then that wisdom will bring success. And so today in the last few days, we've been looking at how do we bring focus to all the things that we're doing. So Bonnie has started a new YouTube channel for her music. I think it's called Bonnie Whaley Music, links in description. I'm looking at focusing uh, on some other elements um, whereby I'll be able to vlog, I'll be able to talk some, about some business ideas and mindsets and uh, some of the some of the things that we do on a daily basis that I think are very creative and would benefit some people, as well as just an ability to document where we where we've been and what we're doing and what we're thinking. So in the future, we can look back at at where we are, at where we were, and and reminisce and enjoy and criticize in a positive way. And then we still got the podcast, so. We're going to keep on doing that on a weekly basis. We've so enjoyed that. We, we uh, got some new content coming out soon that I think it'll be fun. And we're going to experiment and play with that. So that's going to stay on the Whaley's channel. And we'll do some other things on the Whaley's channel too. But uh, in terms of the daily encouragement, we've been looking at, at exploring other platforms. And so one of the things that we've thought about and discussing, and we'd love to hear from you if you've got any comments, is doing a daily encouragement on Instagram, on IGTV. And because the nature of Instagram is much more uh, flexible, transient, um, the use by date is on a daily basis. Uh, YouTube is sort of more long term, almost like a library type effect. Although there are daily things on YouTube. We're thinking let's do daily encouragements uh, that are focused and just about daily encouragements on YouTube, every, uh, oh, sorry, on Instagram every single day. And we'll, we'll adapt and, and amend on the YouTube um, with multiple different channels. So this is, I think we've done two months now of YouTube. We've learned a lot and we've grown. And in some sense, we've completely failed. It is a failure of what we're doing. The, the view, viewership has gone down a little bit and uh, 
the, the subscribers are sort of leveling out. But I can tell you that I don't feel like a failure. I don't feel like it's a fa like the whole thing is a failure. It's been a wonderful experiment and we've really enjoyed it and we've uh, we've learned so much. So this is my daily encouragement to you. All these changes will not be enacted exactly tomorrow. We will enact these in the next couple of weeks. But I just want to say to you, have a go. Try things out. Play with them. Experiment and fail. Lean into the failure. One of my friends in, in Ireland, Zach, he always says you can't make an omelet without breaking a few eggs. And uh, you want to break some eggs. You want to experiment. You want to play. I think it's very unhealthy if you want a perfect track record because not, not one of us is perfect. And if you're not willing to have a go and you're not willing to experiment, you're not willing to try and you're not willing to have a go at the answer at the back of the classroom, uh, even though if you're not sure, then you're not going to produce anything. You're not going to get anywhere. And so my encouragement to you is play, fail, learn, grow, have another go and uh, develop your security, not based on your track record, develop your security based on who you are in Christ and your track record will amend and adapt and change to who you are. If you are putting your track record as the highest point of influence in your life, then you'll end up avoiding the negative things because that gives you a higher percentage at the end of the day. Makes look, it makes it look like your report card is perfect. But if you look at the substance of your report card, you'll have nothing on there. You'll have no tries, you'll have no goes, you'll have no influence, you'll have no effect on this planet for the short few years that you've got left on this planet. So have a go, have a try, and uh, focus. Learn to focus, learn to, to put things in their right order. Get rid of things that you don't want to be carrying around. Have the courage to let go of old things, to move away from old things. Isaiah 43, 18, forget the former things. Just move on from them. And uh, you just don't carry so much baggage. I was telling one of my students today, one of the fa my favorite times in life is when I had all my human possessions in one bag, it felt freeing. And I know a lot of people say that moving house is the second most stressful thing behind losing a child. It's the second most stressful thing you can experience. And I understand that, but you know, when you have your security in, in, in something outside of yourself and outside of what you own and outside of your possessions and outside of your report card, then you can live free from all of that stuff. You can live free from the baggage of life and the baggage of a track record, and you'll actually end up with better life and better track record and better stuff, but you won't be subject to it. It'll be subject to you. But I just want to announce, you know, we're re reassessing things and we'll be reshuffling and reordering things. So I hope you stay tuned. I hope you've enjoyed the last two months of what we're doing. We're going to continue to do that and we're going to do it better, but it's going to be in a more focused manner and I just want to thank everyone for coming along in this little journey. It's been great. We've we've enjoyed it. We've enjoyed the interactions. People have sent us a lot of messages uh, privately and just thanked us and said they've enjoyed certain things. Thank you. That is uh, that's very generous. No no one had to do that. So we really appreciate that. And we'll keep you on day, updated on on um, how things evolve and how things change. Um, those are not being enacted tomorrow, so you can tune in tomorrow for another daily encouragement. But when they are changed, we'll let you know. And uh, I hope that's encouraging to you guys to witness a little bit of our failure, but to see that we don't feel like failures, even though we failed. Uh, we'll see those changes positively affect uh, and, and we'll see some turnarounds and some of that stuff in the future. So bless you. I hope that encouraging. Thanks, guys. Bye.